following gameplay commentary is rated X for extreme. Viewer discretion is advised. X W O. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello and welcome. My name is Samson. I am the smooth talk and pimp that loves a front bomb. Back again, bringing you another silky smooth gameplay commentary from my lips to your ear pussies deep and hard, because that's how we do. Anyways, guys, how you doing? How you feeling? Hope everything is going well for you in your life. You're getting everything that you've ever wanted, everything you've ever dreamed. Your dreams are coming true. That's what I want for you. Anyways, guys, like I said, how you feeling? Uh, in today's episode, and by the way, welcome to AFK. I think we're on episode number four, I believe. And uh, AFK, in case you guys don't know, is away from controller, of course. Controller spelt with a K because it's more extreme, more badass. And uh, it's the discussion gameplay video series. Yeah, the discussion series. A series where we can talk about pretty much whatever we want. Uh, be it Call of Duty related or life related, whatever, news related, whatever comes up, this is where we talk about it. And expect dual comms, expect all that stuff in the near future. I've already got my feelers out, talked to some people, uh, seeing if they're interested in coming on. Uh, but with that in mind, not what I wanted to talk about in this video. And I always get off topic at the beginning of my commentaries, but, uh, you know, anyways. In this video, what I want to talk about is all of the black hat hate. Yeah, black hat hate. I was watching a Thunder Toro video, and he was mentioning the, you know, the recent changes that are coming to black hat, thanks to the beta and all the complaints that came in to Vondahar. Uh, you know, it's going to take more time, you're going to need more precision to hack. Um, it's, it's just all this stuff. You're going to peer on the radar while you're doing it. And uh, I kind of understand all the, you know, hate at one end of it. Because, you know, for the first time you're losing your high-end streaks and all that stuff to the to the black hat. And, uh, you know, it's hard to take. People are used to it just working on shock charges and claymores and shit like that. But I'm on the opposite end. Like, I am pro black hat. I loved the Black Hat, and I think it was awesome that it finally took care of pretty much any kill streak that was in the sky, on the ground, everything. I am pro Black Hat. But we're going to get into the details of that, why I'm pro Black Hat, uh, in a little bit here. Um, but everybody is against it, you know, a lot of butthurt people, a lot of tryhards that are complaining. Um, and I, I just don't agree with any of that. And I'm very much interested in your guys' opinion on the subject, so let me know your thoughts on the Black Hat in the comments section below. Now, as far as me, why I am pro Black Hat, well, first of all, as you can see in this video, I am very much, very, very, very much a support player. And when I mean I'm a support player, I mean, uh, you know, I don't, I don't run the kill streaks where, you know, they, they run over in uh, your deaths and stuff like that. In fact, kill streaks to me don't really mean shit. Like, I don't really care too much about kill streaks. Uh, I'm more of the gun kills kind of guy. I like getting multiple kills with my gun. But that's getting off topic again. Uh, I'm a support player. So what I mean by support player is if there is a UAV in the sky, I'm probably the guy that's trying to shoot it down. If there is a guardian on the map, chances are I'm the guy that's trying to deal with it. If there is a point in domination that needs to be captured, I'm probably trying to, like, dolphin dive onto that son of a bitch. That is me. I am a support player. I understand that, you know, I'm not the greatest slayer. Uh, I'm not so great at getting in their spawn and just wrecking face and staying alive in the process. Like, I can definitely get in the spawn too easy. I can get in the spawn like a fucking champ. And I could definitely wreck a little bit of face, but staying alive? <laughs> that's something else entirely. Like, I can only stay alive for so long. Uh, when I'm in somebody's spawn. So I'm not a slayer. I'm definitely a support player. I'm the guy jumping on the objectives. I'm the guy taking out the support in the air. So to me, a black hat is just another tool in my arsenal. Because let's face it, if you're watching this gameplay, you're seeing me take out a lot of air support, a lot of UAVs, uh, and counter UAVs, shit like that. And what is that doing? It's taking me out of the gun game, which is the whole, like, point of Call of Duty is the gun game. Like, people think it's the kill streaks, but it's not. Like, the kill streaks are just kind of filler to add some excitement, but it's all about the gun game. The strategy is in the gun game. The competition is in the gun game. The skill is in the gun game. So I'm about the gun game. I don't give a fuck about the kill streaks. But, um, 
the black hat, it kind of evens it up a little bit. So it gives me an opportunity, even though I'm taken out of the gun game and I can't, you know, get in people's faces and spray and pray for days, I still am able to get those kill streaks that I would be able to get if I was in the gun game, if I was a guy up in their spawn, raping face. But no, I'm helping out my team, being that guy, by shooting out all the UAVs. And you can see here, I'm not hacking every single UAV or counter UAV that's in the sky. I'm shooting most of them down, because shooting a UAV down, shooting uh, anything down, even the big motherships and shit like that, it's always going to be quicker to get it out of the sky with a launcher. Let's just face it, it's, it's just the way it is. And uh, in this game, I really like the launchers. They've cut down the time to pull out the launchers, uh, to get the launcher ready to fire. Everything has been cut down, so it's a lot quicker to take out air support. So people like me that play support, we're not out of the game for that long. We can just quickly take out a launcher. We can go boom, boom, boom. Well, usually boom, boom. <laughs> but, uh, and it takes out the thing. It takes out whatever is in the sky. But the black hat, that gives us uh, a choice. So we can go and quickly take out the said air support, and then it's done. It's, it's out of the sky. It's not killing us anymore, and the people on the other end are not benefiting. Or I can hack it. If I hack it, it's going to take me a hell of a lot more time. I'm going to be open during the entire process in which any good player is going to be like up in my face and killing me. And uh, it's just the way it is. Like, people complain, but it's just the way it is. It took a lot of time. You had to be pretty precise as it was in the beta. So making it more precise, who knows what that's going to be. And it took a lot of time. Took me out of the game. Made me pray, pretty much, for anybody and anything. Um, and uh, But the kicker to that was I got to control. Well, you know, I didn't get to physically control, but I got the uh, the kills from said kill streak or whatever. And I thought it was great. Like, I thought it was well balanced. You know, the time that it took to actually hack the thing, by the time you got it hacked, you had to use sometimes two black hats to do it. By the time it was done, the whole process was done, it, it was three quarters of the way through the kill streak's time. So the kill streak was already on its way out, and I got maybe one kill of it. Uh, in the term of, like, the UAVs, I get maybe one or two swipes of a UAV, and then. It's gone. So I didn't think it was really that bad, and the people complaining about it, they're just a bunch of kill whores. Like, they don't like the competition of the game. They only enjoy the game when they're stomping face, like raping face. That's when they have fun playing Call of Duty. And uh, I'm on the opposite spectrum. Like I said, I'm a gun guy. Uh, I like to, to run and gun and test my reflexes and test my skill and see how well I do. Uh, kill streaks are just kind of a bonus. It adds, you know, a little bit of excitement. It's just uh, no skill kills. And I'm not so much about the no skill kills. I like those skill kills. I like to see, you know, who is the better man. And uh, sometimes that's tough because we have to deal with things like connection and lag and all that shit. But uh, still, that's the type of game, the type of Call of Duty player that I am. All right. And uh, like I said, I'm a support player. If there's a person taking something out, that's me. So I like to get kills. And I like to reap the benefit of kills, but at the same time, I like to keep my team safe, keep my team comfortable. And, uh, you know, I'm just old school Call of Duty player. Just straight up old, old school. That, that's what I am. And uh, I, I just love the Black Hat. I think it's, like I said, an, an extra tool in my arsenal, uh, an extra option. Now, for all the people out there that do get butt hurt, I even got a suggestion on how to fix the Black Hat. Now, uh, as opposed to what Vondahar has already done to making it, you know, more precise to hack it, taking more time to hack it, uh, my proposal is that it doesn't hack the said kill streak 100%. So, in the terms of a UAV, if I were to hack a UAV, make it, you know, 50-50. So, both teams get UAV swipes and make it so, you know, maybe the, the team that hacked it, there there's, you know, UAV is a little scrambled or something. You know, you could kick it up to that notch or something. Uh, as far as the, you know, the motherships and stuff like that, uh, make it so if you hack a mother shirt, mother shirt, <laughs> if you hack a mothership, it doesn't take it away 100%. Maybe it makes it a 75-25 split. So there's a 25% chance that the kill that the mothership gets might go to the person that hacked it. You know, and the other 75% is still going to go to the person that, you know, got the kill streak original. You know, I think that would be a good fix to the whole black hat, you know, scandal. And that could run like, you know, uh, you could use that only on the bigger streaks, 
like in the bigger streaks it only does half uh, and smaller streaks or ground streaks it still you know takes them out or takes them over uh, that's something you know the community that's something for Treyarch and Vondahar to think about but uh, I definitely think that's a fix that would appease everybody so the person getting the kill streak they're not losing you know so much they're not losing the entire function of that kill streak they still get its worth they still get kills with it you know in the case of the mothership or whatever they still get the kills that the mothership would provide but there's 25 percent chance that the person that hacked it that took all that time took themselves out of the game were prey for that entire time there's 25 percent chance that they might get uh, a kill or two on the kill feed like is that so bad uh, in the whole thing with the UAVs, like I said, the, the team that got the UAV would still have UAV function, but, you know, the people that hacked the, the opposing team would get a little bit of UAV function as well. So it kind of evens up for those people that are getting just, like, stomped, right? Those people that, you know, can't get a kill because they're going against a team of six, and, uh, you know, they're in a party of noobs. Well, guess what? I don't like to be that person. I don't like to be the person on that team where the team's not doing anything and I'm the only one getting any kills while shooting down UAVs and shit. And in Black Ops 3, it makes it not so bad because I get to, you know, do it quickly and take a little bit away from that opposing team. So it helps out people like me that, uh, you know, try to carry teams to victory that only care about that big W. And, uh, yeah, I I'm pro Black Hat. Pro Black Hat all the way. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought about the Black Hat. You know, are you pro? Are you against? Do you like the changes that they brought? Um, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the like button. Don't forget to click the like button. Always helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Keep yourself, you know, in the loop as far as the XWO and, you know, what we're doing. Because we're taking it back. We're taking back Call of Duty from all the haters and all that bullshit making it right again. Anyway, guys, until the next one. Later, guys.